Are you ready for some football? How about <laughs> these edible little footballs? Jim Hagee, you and your team are so creative doing some great stuff here. And uh, mm -hmm. think about the footballs. Remember the football games yes. you used to play as kids where you could take the, 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 the little ones and slide them across the table? Well, that's right. the idea here with right. this. Exactly right. So, you know, we like to have a little fun with the food. And, and uh, we were inspired by that uh, thing we did as uh, kids in school. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And, and uh this is an apple wonton. We have two recipes okay. that we're going to do to make this. And I want to get started with that. I want to show you how to start. Right, super. Yeah. So what we got. And I'm going to do a little audible a little, here. Okay. I put well, while you're on, I forgot to pull the mic out. So. so while you do that, I'm going to talk about this. We're going to start with the caramel sauce. Okay. And we've got in this pan just one cup of sugar. And you don't really have to grease the pan or anything. Just put the sugar in. We're going to turn it on medium heat. Okay. And we're going to let that sugar melt. And I'm going to uh, leave that, turn that heat up a little bit. It lets you be stirring that. And once we get that melted, we're going to add a few more things. Okay. But while you're doing that, I'm going to do the apple uh, apple filling for this. And to do that, we've started with a couple of tablespoons of butter that we've melted in this pan. All right. And then we're going to add three small apples that we've cut. I like to use the green apples. Those are great in there. Then we're going to add uh, six uh, tablespoons of brown sugar. I like a little pinch of cayenne in the top of that. We got a, a teaspoon of cinnamon and then a pinch of salt. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to let that uh, saute and once we get it all going and it's nice and bubbling this is going to saute for probably only two minutes you don't want the apples yeah. to get too right. mushy but you you want to cut them kind of small like this because you want it uh, when we put them in the wontons mm -hmm. they need to be a little okay. bit smaller Alrighty. so you've got that stirred and going uh -huh. so what we're going to do is we've got uh, we're going to remove that from the heat all right and let's turn that off you can leave it there okay and then we're just going to add this cup and a quarter of cream. Now it's going to bubble a little bit. We're going to add half of it, right. and then I'll let you stir that a little bit more. So what we're stir this would have get in go cook for maybe two, three minutes, and once it's cooked, this is your apple compote. That's what that looks like. So you want to let it cool yeah, down a little nice bit. Nice little color there. Uh huh. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make our wontons. So you're going to take one tablespoon. I'll just lay. By the way, you can find these wontons in the grocery store. They're in the frozen food section. They're this size. They're mm -hmm. perfectly. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do this recipe. It's so easy. All right. So you'll Ooh. take a tablespoon of your apple, put that in the middle. We're going to take, and you can use a brush. You know, I just like to use uh, uh, hands with a glove. We're going to put that around the corner. We're going to take this, and you'll have them in a diamond, and just fold it over just like that. So you've got your little football. Yeah. Make sure you want to slide it across the table. And... Then once you do that, we're going to do another, put a little milk on top of it, and then you're going to put it into this pan, uh, a pan that's lined with parchment paper. You would have preheated your oven to 425 degrees. Okay. Just add the rest of this in there. Right, get that in. Let that stir in. And then we're going to add a little bit of this, a little vanilla. Another vanilla. And just a pinch of salt. You know, you got to have a little salt okay. in your caramel. But this is our little dipping sauce and what we're going to drizzle on top. Right. And you'll let that stir. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to make one more of these just to show you how to do that. Okay. And then once you get it in there, how long will we cook it? We're going to cook it for probably 9 to 12 minutes, depending. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I put it in an oven this morning when baking these okay. samples. And I did it in a different oven. Awesome. And so as you can continue to do that, there is the final product right there. Looks good. Can't wait to try them. Or you can go over and let Jim try them for you over at Chef's Market and Catering Restaurant over in Gulletsville. Looks good. And maybe the kids can, can play with the food. Yes, they could. <laughs> As always, thank you. My